Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Cab Fit. So this is a special episode. Was not planning on doing another upload this week. However, given the severity of the circumstances and uh, the pandemic that's afflicting the world and essentially put Toronto on a gridlock, um, I thought I should just do a quick little update here. I know people are scared, they're panicking, they're buying toilet paper by the, you know, by the carton, by the box. <laughs> I'm not really sure why, but that seems to be a thing. Um, however, you know, one, one of the, the biggest risk factors for especially mortality with COVID-19 is of course obesity and poor health. So th those two risk factors alone and combined with age will, will put you into a very, very dire category. So what can we do here in our building, which has a state-of-the-art gym facility, that's been shut down. So I've seen a lot of chatter on the community boards and people are like, oh, well, what am I supposed to do now? I can't work out, I have to go to the good life. Do not go to a public space, do not go to a gym, which is essentially, and I say this as someone who is a huge advocate of fitness and health, but the gym is essentially a Petri dish. You're putting yourself in a confined space with people constantly respiring and perspiring. There is probably not a filthier or more contaminated space you could be next to like a hospital. Do not go to the gym. There's plenty of stuff you can do at home that's safe, that follows the whole self-quarantine rules, whether or not you are sick or not, or you just don't want to be sick. It's best to stay away from people, right? That's what Skype is for, that's what the internet is for. We can be connected, I'm connected to you right now. I'm in your living room, but I'm not physically in your living room, and neither one of us can contaminate each other with anything. That is the beauty of modern technology. So, I'm gonna take you through a quick workout. Now, you can progress or regress through this as you want. I'm gonna cover all the major body parts, I'm going to try not to use any equipment because I have no idea what you have at home. Um, so we're just going to be using surfaces, a lot of calisthenics, just stuff to keep you active, keep you healthy, keep you fighting this naturally. So you can see here, weights can be made from anything. Take a shopping bag, fill it with some of those canned goods that you swept off the shelves and, and you've got a good 20 pound weight. Use whatever available weight you have to work your back to do your rows here. Elbow comes up past the line of the torso. We have a nice clean straight line with the back. Push your butt back if you have to to get that. All right, next up we have our basic squat. So knees are behind the toes at all time. Weight distribution is from heel to toe. Gonna get as low as you can. You wanna get those thighs parallel with the ground and then slowly stand up and push the hips forward just a little bit without sort of, you know, being, being, uh, being vulgar. So a speed skater is essentially a one-legged squat where we're going to be putting a bit more force on that one leg with support as well too. So you're going to dip down low on that one leg, you're going to step back with the opposite foot, try and get it as far back as you can and get as low on that knee as you can. So we hit that quad and that glute especially as you're standing up again. All right, so here we just have some squat jumps or squat hurdles, whatever you want to call them. Low squat position, hop forward about a foot. Obviously, we're restricted with how far we can go in an apartment, so don't injure yourself. All right, so push-ups and their many variants. Here I'm going to do a push-up to a wall touch or a reach. This, uh, I've also, you can't really see it, but I'm raising my back leg as well too for progression. If you want to do that, you raise the opposite uh, leg to the hand that you're raising just to get a bit more stability in the core. Um, yeah, there's a ton of different push-ups you can do. You don't need to do these ones. These are kind of fancy. Check out my push-up video. I take you through pretty much the every single push-up you can do from beginning to side to side to one arm. So check that one out. I'll link it in the comments. Mountain climbers are a classic and a staple of core stability and core work. Uh, so you're just gonna bring the knees in as far as you can towards the chest uh, while keeping the butt low. All right, we're gonna have some flashbacks to uh, grade eight gym class here, running on the spot with jumping jacks. Now, this is hugely effective. And you know, you can also go for a run outside. I like this though, keeps you indoors, keeps you part of the circuit, doesn't really break the flow. Uh, just alternate between the two exercises, about 20 reps of each for five to 10 minutes. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, any questions about the progression or regression of those exercises, please just hit me up in the comments. I'm not gonna have time to cover everything in a five to 10 minute video. And I just wanna get you through this so you can get it moving and shaking and you know, getting some of that depression and anxiety worked out of your system. Um, stay happy, stay healthy, be kind to each other. Please stop buying toilet paper. It's absurd. You are absurd when you do that. You don't need 15 dozen packs <laughs> of toilet paper, you know, and even if there was a zombie apocalypse, I'm not sure what you think toilet paper would do for you. You should probably have some food or some sustenance instead. Uh, yeah, so stay kind to each other. Stop buying toilet paper. 
and uh, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. Check out my other workout vids. I've got some other stuff for you to check out as well too on the playlist, which I will link at the end of this video. Take care. Bye-bye.